You best believe people we are out here at Bonafide Dance Studio. These guys are doing amazing things, loving the energy. You guys are dope, but you must show me a move or two. But anyway, tell us quickly who are you and how long have you been dancing? I'm Grace and I've been dancing for seven months. Seven months? Amazing. And you are? Tell us your name. My name is Leanne Skuman and I've been dancing for, I think, two years. Two with years. With the vision and then I've been dancing for three years. Wow. Tell us about your crew. I mean, um, what was the competition like for you? Recently did HHI, also Dance Star. Tell us about the competitions. What was that like for you? Uh, the Vision is one of the most amazing crews I've been dancing with. Been mm. doing all the crews I've been dancing with, The Vision is the best. Oh, wow. And the teamwork is amazing. So and, cool. and all the competitions we actually worked did our best. Nothing, uh. no one actually did not their best. Yes. They actually, everyone gave it, gave, their, all. Gave it their and all. And that's the point when you do something on stage. You want to feel you did your best, you know what I mean? Mm. Because the competition is with yourself at the end of the day. Yeah. So dancing, what does dancing mean to you? Dancing means to, um, is everything to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When I'm sad, I dance mm -hmm. and I'm feeling better. When I'm angry, I dance. I don't mm -hmm. want to. And then when I'm um, happy, I dance. Everything oh, I do, I dance. Wow, lovely. Well said. Give a round of applause. I like that answer. <laughs> Thank you. And then you. Come on, people, did you see you? Tell us your name. Gabby. Gabby, so tell me how long have you been dancing? Um, for two years. Two years. Yes, you like to laugh. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, who is, the, who is the drama queen or king? In your crew? Um, she's the drama queen. Is it? Okay. And who is the one that's the most laziest? Is it you? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. And tell us about the competition. What was HHI like for you? What was it like competing with your team? I don't know. She doesn't know. It's fine. You don't have to know everything, people. We're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. It's a walk with Mel out here on Cape Town TV Channel 263. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> back welcome to a walk with mel it's a liquor vibes in the studio i'm loving the energy yes, for the yes, people yes. that don't know just tell them who you are and where you're from 
I'm Yanina mm -hmm. and I'm from Brackenfell. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I am John David Jespo and I'm from Atlantis. We love it and you guys are the teachers and the dance studio owner. Um, tell us just for the viewers, how did you start dancing? How did you get into dance? I've, I come from a very cultural background, mm -hmm. musical background, and my mom was a dancer. Okay. And at the age of seven, I said, okay, well, let's give it a go, mm -hmm. let's try. And I did ballet. Something that wasn't for me yeah. at all. I did modern dancing after that, which is, which, it was fun, mm -hmm. but then I discovered hip hop mm. at the age of 14, and I completely fell in love with it. Wow. And since 14, I've been doing hip hop. Really? And I love it. And I can see yes. it in the kids. Great. <laughs> and your side, how did you start um, dancing? It's a very short and sweet journey. <laughs> um, I discovered YouTube, mm -hmm. dance videos, mm -hmm. started watching So I Think You Can Dance, ABDC, mm -hmm. and then I uh, went to go and look up some. African dancers, of course, and I find Judy Smith, he is the, the owner for, of Untimative, mm -hmm. and then yeah, I auditioned for his team in 2012, and I've been dancing ever since, wow. and that's what it was. Yeah. I love the consistency. Tell us about the studio, how did you guys start? I've had a, not a studio, mm -hmm. but this, this vision, mm -hmm. like my vision is to work with kids, mm -hmm. and since I had a passion for dancing, mm -hmm. I wanted to combine that. Sure. So. It was about five years ago, mm -hmm. um, I started working as a teacher and I did shows for schools and did Zumba classes and just fine hip hop classes after hours. Mm -hmm. And uh, it started growing and growing and sure. growing and I just decided that no wait, I need to create a safe place for these kids, a place where they can feel this is ours. Mm -hmm. I don't have to go to another studio mm -hmm. and pay rent every time, you know, for the kids. Yes. <laughs> And then beginning of this year, I said November last year, I just, I just had this thing in my head mm -hmm. and I just went to my parents and I said to them, listen, I'm going to do it. I wow. don't know how, but I'm going to do it. Wow. And here we are. Amazing. We've done it. And that's how you, that's how it happens for me, even for the show. Yeah. I woke up, I, I did it and it failed. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then one day, again. yes, <laughs> one day I woke up, I was like, I have to do this. I don't know how, I don't know when. And I mean, you yeah. keep going. Tell us about Hip Hop International. I saw you guys killing it on stage. Um, what was the prep like for you guys? It was quite hectic because mm -hmm. we had quite a short time because um, we were busy with a different competition just mm -hmm. before HHI. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have a lot of time to prep, so we had basically a month. Yes. But we definitely put our all to it into mm -hmm. it. Sorry, mm -hmm. it was very fun. It was hard at times mm -hmm. to you know keep the focus going. Yes. But for the most part, the journey was fun and exciting, and Lecker. to compete in the competition was very rewarding and worthwhile. Yes. To see the hard work pay off, and mm. to see that all those hours spent in the studio with the kids, you know, it can get tough at times. That they really just shine and blossom and mm. flourish on stage, you know. Amazing. So it was a cool experience. Lecker. and also you put in a lot of hours. Yeah. It just for one. One day it is it's hectic. Dancing is hectic. I that know. One minute for that one half, minute, yes. and then it counts right. for your for the rest of your life yes, almost. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> you rehearse for so for so many hours, mm -hmm. and you go on stage, and in the blink of an eye, it's over, it's and you're done. like, oh, it's done. Like sure. I want to do it again, or whatever wow. the case is. So exactly. yeah, it goes over so quickly, mm -hmm. but the journey is mm -hmm. it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. 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 And tell me, how did the love for dance for you start? For me personally, I was one of those people who didn't know what they really wanted to do in mm -hmm. life. You know, after high school, I worked mm -hmm. in music, I worked in spur, you know, those different yes. places, you know. Just but you must test it. Testing the waters, trying mm. to find myself. And then when I found dance, it sort of captivated me and it kind of showed me who I really am as wow. a person. And ever since then, I just fell in love with dance and I kept on pursuing it mm -hmm. um, through all the hardships because. Um, Coming from a place like Atlantis, there's really not sure. much, you know what I mean? Mm. So there's literally two other guys that I know, Tevin and Jonathan. Um, <laughs> that that's a dance from, community. Yeah, exactly. Hey. Literally, literally. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just amazing for the three of us to make it out there mm. and to make the passion that we have for dance our living. Because uh -huh. essentially, all three of us choreograph for a studio now. And sure. yeah, we've come a long way. That's so shout amazing. out to the two of them. Um, Lekker, man. Much yeah, respect. And means. that gives hope to the people in, in Atlantis. We're going to take a quick break, people. It's a walk with Mel. Don't go anyway. Don't go too far, grab a glass of water, bitchy coffee, come and join us via Nadi break because we're going to talk about Croatia, going to Croatia yeah. and the prep dance <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you want that 
Welcome back to a walk with Mal. We're actually at Bonafide Dance Studio as a liquor. You so it like your vibe. I hope you guys are enjoying the show as much as I'm enjoying this one. These kids are doing amazing things and you guys are I love you investing in the kids, man, and, and, and giving back. So let's just talk about the dance um, crews and the names, the different names that you guys have and how you came up with those names. All right. I always like it to have something very unique to mm -hmm. a group. Mm -hmm. Each name needs to fit the group. Of That's course. special to me. Mm -hmm. And I like a, a name with meaning behind it. Mm -hmm. So Little Popper started two years ago when they were extremely small and little. Oh. And I was thinking, okay, little. I, I like that. <laughs> yeah. And they were so energetic. They're yes. always energetic. So I thought, pop, pop, you know, yes, they're always they, popping. Yes. So Little Poppers, <laughs> that's where we got that name. And then we got Tenacious and Tenacious I was watching a movie one night mm -hmm. where this guy used the word tenacious. I was thinking, oh wow, that sounds very really nice cool. Word. Yes. And then we took a Google it mm -hmm. and I saw the meaning behind it. It actually means like unit. We wow. work hard together, we fight hard together, we never give up. That's the word for the day. I never knew about that word. Yes. Tenacious. You must okay. go, go check Google. it out. Tenacious. <laughs> <laughs> so that fit them perfectly. I love it. And for the mega crew, I I always said to the people, I have this vision for them. Mm. One day they're just gonna rise above. Wow. I'm thinking vision, mm. vision, that's the perfect name. Perfect Expect name. the unexpected. Oh! And hey. that's how we got that hey. name. Hey, I think it was a rap, rap life, yeah. right? You best believe, you best believe, awesome. that's how we okay. do it. <laughs> Let's talk about dance though. What was that experience like, the prep for that? It was amazing. Mm -hmm. First of all, it was really a cool competition to be a part of, mm -hmm. and it was our first time entering the studio, and my first time even doing the competition. It's mm -hmm. been around for one or two years, but now everyone is starting to, you know, mm -hmm. um, like being attracted to this competition yes. and the preparation for it was very unique because mm. it's my first time transitioning from a dancer into a choreographer sure. so essentially they're learning a brand new style that doesn't exist in the world it's wow. something that's mine you know what I mean so it was a special journey that I shared with a vision mm -hmm. and for them just to get to know how I do things and, mm. and the way I do things it was it was very special and dear to me because I'm always going to remember that going forward being a choreographer mm. when I started out you know mm. in this small studio with the small mm. group of, of, of kids mm -hmm. and the overall experience it was it was fun it's exciting it was yeah mm. it was really really nice and lovely and, and then you guys qualified to go to Croatia well done to you guys yes, it's amazing so I love it are you guys planning to do any fundraisers Yes, we, we've got so many things lined up for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to involve the community in yes. uh, we want to get a venue yes. to have a big showcase mm -hmm. and we want to use the barnyard to ah. actually dance on stage there Love but it. to also watch the show. Mm -hmm. uh, to the schools, we ask the schools for any funds that they can mm -hmm. help with, mm -hmm. we companies around. Mm -hmm. It's quite difficult because in South Africa, to be quite honest, yeah. you know, hip hop, they don't see it as a sport. No, yeah. Um, so to, to get fans from them, it makes it extremely difficult. But we are going to keep pushing and we're going to keep trying. I we're not going to give up. Guys, I love it. Yes. And then also for people watching, I always say this and I said it before, if each company, and I know there's a lot of business owners watching, gives 1,000 and if it's 10 people, that's already like how much? You know what I'm Sorry. saying? Yeah. So I do urge people to please get yes. on board. Let's support the people. These guys are going to represent South Africa. They're going over the road to represent us. If there's an email, Email or how can they make contact if they want to um, see social media if they want to get on board to yes sponsor you guys. Um, we've got a Facebook page mm -hmm. Bonafide Dance Studio mm -hmm. so you can send a message on them Love we it. also have Instagram mm -hmm. um, Bonafide Dance mm -hmm. um, I've got a we've got an email that we use Bonafide mm -hmm. DS at gmail.com mm -hmm. or they can contact me on 079 mm -hmm. 696 Four, two, five, six. I love it and I believe that you guys are going to do it because I want to do yes. it. You guys, we all need to just start. We need to start supporting our own and I believe yes, in that. Yes, yes, Let's yes, talk yes, about yes. challenges. I mean, I'm going to ask you both that question. I'll start with you. Tell us about the challenges you face as a dance mm. studio owner. I think each, each studio mm -hmm. faces different challenges. Mm. Um, having kids showing up with a negative mindset mm. is sometimes very challenging. Sure. Um, we as coaches try to motivate them as far mm. as we can. We don't always succeed, yes. depending on what kind of day they had. And I mm. think that's quite challenging for us and for them as well. Yes. Um, we have, you know, negative impact from, from other studios outside mm. or people that, that makes you feel negative. Sure. But we always just try to keep good faith. That's, that's, that's our it. motto. Wow. All in good faith. Mm -hmm. So um, that keeps us going. 
and that really gives us the energy just to face every challenge that comes our way. Yeah, all in good faith, like that. Anything from your side, any challenges that you face as an artist, as a dancer, as a choreographer? Um, like, um, like I said earlier, just mm -hmm. the transition from dancing to choreographer yes. was a huge challenge in itself because obviously I have to learn to work with kids now, something that I haven't done because now I work for this mm. company, this established dance company and we run it like one, two, three, go, whatever you need to do, it happens. Sure. And then going from that to working with kids, it's so it's tough. Different. It's, yeah, different. it's different. Like it is a, It's a switch up, a huge mm. different ball game. Mm -hmm. And just getting used to that, getting used to how I react to different situations in the classroom right. with kids and then these parents. So there's, there's so much different, different things dynamics, yeah. in, in mm. a studio that people aren't aware of all the time. Mm. And just learning the ropes for me personally and then also just getting to know the kids also because it is about them at the end True. of the day. True. So yeah, just getting to know them individually. They're such amazing human, little <laughs> human beings. So yeah, it was really it's fun. It's so cool because you're growing through the process as exactly, well. Exactly. And it, it was really, it was amazing. It amazing. Still amazing yeah. Love it. And then what is the ultimate vision for you guys as a studio? To grow. Love. Yeah. We started small, but well, watch out, we grow. Hey, hey. Yeah, hey. Yeah, by, yeah, by year, poppers, day by day. Poppers, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we, we want to expand, we want to become a, a bigger studio. At the moment, we're just focusing on hip hop because that's what yes. both of us yeah. do. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the main vision ahead is to have our own building yes. and to have different styles, yeah, to bring in tap, modern, wow. ballet, and to have a full on dance studio. Amazing. And I believe it, you guys, all in good faith. All in good, all in good faith, faith eh, hey, now? <laughs> How do you stay motivated? How do you wake up every day, even if it's a bad day? You wake up and you're like, you know what? I'm going to do this. For me, I put on music and I start freestyling. That is my main motivation. <laughs> I have to force myself to dance every day because mm. nobody's telling me I need to choreograph that. I need to get sure. up for this um, X, Y, and Z. So I literally, if I feel like I can't do it, I put on music and I start dancing. And then I just feel my fire every single day because wow. I feel like that's it. it's really important mm. for us as artists and dancers mm -hmm. to really keep ourselves motivated because nobody's going to do it for us. Yeah. And we're the only ones that's going to stand for what we do in life. Do you know Yo, what I mean? So, well yeah, said. That's how Thank Thank you. And for you, yeah, how do you stay motivated to do this every single day? The moment you walk into this class, wow. everything changes. When you see that exciting and happy mm. faces, it just makes everything worth it. And then you forget that, that negative feeling you had or that, mm. you know, just not, yeah, yeah. just not wanting, wanting to be here. Mm -hmm. And the end results, of course, knowing of course. that no matter how you feel, what you do, at the end, it will all be worth it. Ah, so well said. And then what club? You, got, you just do hip hop, of course. Just hip hop. You guys do additions. How does it work if I mean, if I want to join, if someone watching wants to join? How does it work? What makes us a little bit different mm -hmm. from other studios is we don't do additions. We take you yeah. as you are and you come to our studio and we accept you with everything. Wow. So whether I have to lift feet, it doesn't matter. We work wow. with that and we help you grow into becoming cool. the dancer you I love it, Jeff, me and you, we're joining next year. <laughs> I mean, I believe in him as well. You know, we, we're actually a duo, so we might. Oh, we great. Actually, yeah, we, we don't like to talk about it. We can't oh, like to talk about it, but I mean, hey. <laughs> we're part of the, of the vision or the little part hey. And then social media again, where can people catch you? They want to get on board to support you guys. Where can they come? Facebook and uh -huh. Instagram. We're Instagram. still working on that oh, web page. Okay. Yes. Okay, yeah. Awesome stuff, people. There you have it. We are out here at Bonafide Dance Studio. These guys are going to represent South Africa in Croatia. Dance stars. So please, let's get on board and support them. And make it your own. I mean, I believe that if one of us win, we all win. Yes. That's it from me, A Walk With Mel. We are out here. Hope you guys have a fabulous day today. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>